Hello and welcome. My name is Neil Arts. This is one of the most complicated parts of uh, the vanilla experience, and it is uh, the 15th installment in my tutorial series based in a book. So I have now created some blueprints for you for blue, blue circuits, blueprints for blue circuits. Yes, not green prints for green circuits, blue circuits. So let's have a look at why this is so complicated, because it presents a new problem in terms of the vanilla experience. Up to now, everything has used a bit of everything. While here, we have an intermediate product that is, uh, is consumed by a lot of things such as, or I would even go as far as to say primarily for, for modules, and you need a lot of modules for the end game. Well, you're not, not necessarily for the end game, but for uh, mega base starts. Now, the processing units, let's get back to that. It is a 10 second craft, that's long, so keep that in mind. You can make many machines. However, each machine takes 20 electronic uh, circuits and 20 electronic circuits, that's a lot. That's actually that's two per second. Obviously it's two per second. But what it means is that you will not only, well, you will face several different issues. The first one is you are going to scale up, need to scale up your inbound logistics of iron and copper before even getting started on this. Let's have a look at if we, take a look at it from here it takes 24 iron and 40 copper and that's just for one of these and that is so you have to remember that this is this is an important part so one thing is you need to scale up the inbound logistics you'll need to scale up the green circuit production and the second issue that you will also be facing is the fact that you will also be able to really run into issues in terms of even if you produce them you need to carry them over and that requires uh, maybe more capacity in the belt can actually handle it. So another challenge there. Third challenge, if you have a main bus system, this is a late game item and therefore it is positioned at the end of the bus usually, which means that all the green circuits you produce for the rest of the base, even though you have nice green lines, it will only be a trickle that, that reaches all the way to the end. For that reason, I have decided to create different blueprints. One is basically a red one. So let's create this one. And uh, have a look at it. At this point, I am using the yellow inserters, the assembly machines three. I don't see a reason why not to do that, because they are actually. I mean, this is where your crafting speed will be an issue. So let's jam it in and get some more uh, processing done. So we look at the ratio of the machines. Each machine takes ten seconds. It uses two per second. The electronic circuits per second. I don't care about the rest. It's so small numbers. It's only the electronic circuits that matter. But and it has 1.25 crafting speed, so it actually takes two and a half per second. That means this module takes 10 green circuits per uh, per second, and then we have to balance that against how much we can carry in the belt. This is a red belt. Red belt carries 26.2.67 uh, items per second. That means you can have since I have two green belts here, let's actually hook it, hook it up just so we see what's going on. And then we can start seeing that it's working. So what this actually does is you will be able to have 10, 10 of these machines on either side and almost 11, but, that, but 10 machines. But that will also consume two red belts of, uh, of green circuits. And that's a lot. Um, and it will just create like this little trickle here. Each machine will output in, what is it? That's in eight seconds. So we can see here how fast it actually operates. Well, that being said, there's also another way to do this. And that's the one I really want to focus on because if you are building something that's dedicated, uh, then I would say build it, build it for the blue signs. And then let's have a look at it. So this is basically as big as it, as it can get to be supported exclusively by, just want to hit it, yeah. So this is supported exclusively by two blue belts, which is to me, yeah, if you are able to feed it four blue belts, then just have two of these. No point in having any bigger. What is really important here for this part is that we'll just put in a little box so we can actually carry, pick it up. Now let's have a look at this one. This is one blue belt. Blue belt carries 40 items per second. And that means we can have 16 assemblers on either side. 16 assemblers that requires by default, by default crafting speed, 32 items per second. And it has crafting speed of 1.25. That means it will consume 
40 exactly from either side of the belts. So 16 machines on either side will get us through here. So let's have a look at this as it feeds through. And then we can just start seeing how quickly it, it uh, dilutes the belt. See here, it's, con it's constant, it's fully compressed. Why is it not fully compressed coming in? Oh no, it's not fully compressed because the red circuits are also just needing just a bit. That's not really, not really intended. Let's uh, hope take off the red circuits here. I can easily do that. There and there. This little base here cannot really support this big, but I'm just, we're just gonna try it there. Now we want, we want dedicated full, full green flows. See now this come, come on, stop doing that. That should be full. Yeah, now it's fully compressed belts and we look at it. Then it starts reaching all the way to the top, but they're not producing all the time. They just cannot keep up here. But just waiting for more. Now comes another little rush in. So that one just activated and here. And now the the emergency green uh, green circuits are being transported over. Uh, and you can see here. So this belt will just consume everything, and that's basically as big as you can bake it. Uh, it consumes, as I said, two green belts, uh, or two blue belts of green circuits, and just goes flowing in and becomes... Well, let's have a look at how much it actually creates. So this is 8 second crafting time, because it's 0.25, and we have 16. Did I do that? If you had eight of those, that would be one per second, two per second, and then three, four. So all of this is only producing four per second, which means that I could easily just have a yellow belt on the outbound side. Such it is. So I hope that this makes sense to you, and it really hopefully illustrates how, why, and how important it is to respect the blue circuits and really treat them as a whole new stage of the game. This is basically, in my opinion, the definition of endgame. This is when you transition into endgame and you face a different type of challenge, the challenge of mass production. And I guess there's not much to it. And use these uh, blueprints, you can use the modules, you can just expand it as you like, how big you can support it. If you basically, if you see green circuits piling up at the end, extend it. If you don't reach the end, you don't need, you either scale up the green circuits or there's no point in extending it in further, you'll not get any more throughput out of it. Anyway, I think that's uh, going to be it for now. So thank you very much for joining and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment or, and hopefully also a like on the video below. Or, and if you want to see more content such as this, uh, please subscribe. Well, if you feel like it, that is. Thank you very much and I'll see you in another episode. Cheers.